Hello, this is Stasia, Lead Instructor for Grow with Google. Thank you for tuning in to our video today. I know that our communities, our families, and our friends are facing significant uncertainty around COVID-19 and its impact on our day-to-day -day lives. It also creates unique challenges for small businesses. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to work and manage and collaborate using Google Drive and Google Docs. Now more than ever, it's important to be able to access and edit and collaborate with our documents no matter where we're working. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use Google Docs and Google Drive. I'm going to show you how to share your documents with the people that you want to give them access to, and I'm going to show you how to collaborate on those docs. Let's get started. You can access these tools by signing into your Google account at google.com slash accounts. The free consumer version of the tools can be accessed through any Gmail account. The business version of the tools is called G Suite, and you can learn more about that by visiting g.co slash G Suite. This video will be helpful for either type of account. Let's look at Google Drive. Drive allows you to store, share, and access your files from any device, even Microsoft Word and Excel files. If you know there's a good chance that you're going to be without internet access, there's even an available offline setting for the files you think you might need when you don't have access. You can access Google Drive by clicking on the Apps menu at the upper right-hand corner of the screen, or just visit drive.google.com. If you want to work on your phone, it might be helpful to download the Google Drive app. It's free and available for both Android and Apple devices. If you have existing files, you can upload them to Google Drive. You can upload files from many frequently used business tools like Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. Once you add files to Drive, you can choose to share them with other people. Maybe you created an agenda for a big event next year and you want everyone on your planning committee to have access. So you could share that document with everyone on your committee. But let's say you're also working on a budget document. With Google Drive, you could choose to share that one document with just one person on the committee. There are different access levels and you can give people the ability to edit a file, leave comments on the file, but not make any edits or only view the file. You can also give people access to an entire folder. In that situation, people can get to any of the files that are saved within the folder. That makes Drive a flexible option for managing your information and sharing with specific people, your coworkers, your clients, your members, anyone that you want. So that's how you use Google Drive. Next, I'm going to show you how to collaborate on a document. For this example, I am going to use Google Docs, but the same process to create and collaborate on a document applies to Google Docs, Google Sheets, which is Google's spreadsheet program, and Google Slides, which is Google's presentation program. When you're in Drive, click on New, select the type of file you want to create, and then choose if you want a blank file or one from a template. If you're already in Docs, your screen will look a bit different, but the process is very similar. And you can open files that were built in other tools like Word and work on them in Google Docs. If you were in Google Sheets or Slides, you could open files that were created in Excel and PowerPoint. First, give your file a descriptive name. Google automatically saves files for you, but if you don't rename them, you'll end up with a bunch of files called Untitled Document, Untitled Spreadsheet, or Untitled Presentation. Once you create a document, you might want feedback from other people. Like I said earlier, Drive lets you share files with other people. You can see a Share button at the upper right-hand corner. You can share files from this place too. When you click on that button, you can add the emails of the people you want to share it with and also assign their editing level. Let's talk about comments. It's a way for you to leave a note on a particular part of your document. First, click on the word or phrase in the file that you want to leave a comment on. There are a couple of different ways to then add the comment. I usually go to the top of the screen and click on the plus icon. When you click on that, you'll see a little pop-up where you can type in your comment. When you do that, everyone who has access to this file can see the comment. You also have the option to notify a specific person about the comment. In the comment box, type in a plus symbol followed by the email address of the person that you want to notify. You can also make this more of a to-do item by checking the assigned box. 
that person will get an email notifying them about the comment. They can respond to the comment in the document. When the discussion is complete, you can click the check mark at the top right corner to hide the discussion. But don't worry, it's not gone forever. You can always review or reopen a discussion by clicking the comment icon at the top right corner. You can also go back in time and see an earlier version of the file using version history. From the file menu, you will see an option labeled version history. If you click see version history, you'll see a list of previously saved versions of the file, including who made the changes. If you want to revert to an older version, you'd click on it and back you go. And you can save an older version as a new separate file. Version history works the same in Google Docs, Sheets, and Slides. Last but not least, you can save your file in other formats like PDF or Word. Just go to File, select Download, and then choose an option from the menu. If you're using Google Sheets or Slides, you can download the files into different spreadsheet or presentation formats. We hope that wherever you are, you're staying healthy and productive. You can find more free resources to help you stay connected by visiting grow.google slash remote work. Thanks for listening, and we hope you check out our other videos.